Bleiben Sie am Vers. Greetings, my friend. You better stop all of this or else you'll be the next victim of my deadly skills. <laughs> Before you victimize me, remember I told you about the girl. Take a look. She's locked up in my world and yet safe. But if you want to save a life, you just have to play a game with me. First you can answer my question. Who is that girl and why have you kidnapped her? You will find the answers very soon. But right now, you do not have enough time. Listen, you freaking piece of trash. You can't trick me with your false setups and you don't know who I am. You don't know whom you're messing with. I'm well aware about you. Former White Hat hacker who used to run the cyber operations for the U.S. Secret Service Agency. Later, you were thrown out and fired because you refused to comply with the orders of injecting the spywares into the mobile devices of the leaders of the opposition parties. It was against the laws, according to you. How do you know all this? And what do you want from me? <laughs> I know a lot about you. You see, you're the one who acts for good, and I'm the one who acts for what is right. You think you're shrewd enough to understand what is right despite the fact that you've kidnapped a little girl? Come on, Travis. You gotta be rational here at this time. I do not have much time, and you do not have enough left. Why should I believe you? I guess I have to be a little more convinced at this time. Look. Jonathan! You bastard! What the hell have you done with him? Jonathan was not victimized by me. You do know he was your forensic laboratory system. He was unlikely to have a beef with the system. He got to know the truth as to how top officials filed a fabricated case against the victims and proved them guilty. He wanted to reveal the truth to the police. Hence, he had to lose his life. And guess what? Detective Amy started leading this case. If you want to find more answers, then you have to do exactly what I tell you to. Jonathan's death is just a beginning. Fine. What do you want me to do? I want you to play a game. The first game is a box game related to Jonathan's story. You have three boxes in each of these transparent cubes. Out of these, one has right answer to the question asked, which will lead you to the next level. This trick is that the life of each question gets shortened with every tap of the wrong box. Brainstorming is critical. So, here's your first reel. It is open to you. You know it very well. Your existence lies in it. It is in your blood.
Yet, it is a secret that is hidden, and I must find it. What is it? Your time starts now. Guys, you need to refresh your knowledge. The act of acquiring personal information inside the skin of the world is called doctrine, and moreover, the obvious can have to be seen. For example, consider red to be the danger zone. Doxing the red one. Wow, you do fast on that. Your first clue to the answer is a system. The next game is related to the Kevin Spencer story, but in order to play that game, you have to visit the whole nightclub located on the second green boulevard downtown and meet Mr. Spade. Who is he? Welcome, Travis. I've been expecting you. So, what's the game? Ah, uh, relax, my friend. You're tenacious in nature, and I love it. Curtailment of flaws in one's action is a part of the human tendency, which is why you ended up here at my table. I would like for you to have a drink. I don't drink. Then I'm afraid the girl is going to die. This is for the girl's life. Welcome to Mrs. Spade's world. What do you have to do with the girl's life? Oh, not me, you. That girl's life is the key to your life. What do you mean? Allow me to enlighten you first. You are one of the most intelligent cyber operation leaders in your former Secret Service agency. You are also a highly trained killer whose job was to put all opposers, enemies, and rivals into the grave. You had a beautiful wife, Stacy, and a baby girl, Amy, who were killed in an accident. Your services were suspended because you refused to be part of your agency's dirty work. Looks like you're pretty fascinated to do a research about my past. Now, what about the girl? Who is she, and why has she been kidnapped? The past. The past, my friend, is a ghost that haunts one's life even after his or her death. As for the girl, all I can say is that she is an agency's asset to destroy you. Her life is in your hands, and your life is in hers. Shall we play the game? All right. The cause are mysterious by nature. They can be elements of prophecy, the portal to another world, or even a gateway to unrevealed secrets. Kevin Spencer, the man assigned to solve Jonathan's mortality case, he interrogated a drug supplier by the name of Scar, who was one of the closest alliances to the Reptoid, the man who is haunting you over the call. Surprise, right? For the entire night, Scar was interrogated and tortured, but his coyness and lack of evidence to prove him guilty set him free. The very next day, his body was found in the backyard. His death brought life to someone. So Kevin Spencer became a sellout to save his own ass. Who is it? The answer lies in these cards. Clock's ticking. 
the heartbeat's raising. Let's see. Dylan? You? Where are you calling from? I know. The reptoid is the little girl who you are trying to save. I want you to meet Amy. Who is this girl? Her eldest sister. The only alive relative to this girl. I'll send her details on your phone. She has been undercover to save her own sister. I'll give you info you need in order to reach kill the reptoids. Okay, I'm waiting. What the hell are you doing here and where is the girl? And over my sister to me right now. Take it easy, honey. First, there's business to take care of. The Reptoid gave me a contract to kill one of you. He has put 50 grand on the table. Which means the life of the girl will be in exchange for the death of either of you. And that death will be my money. Why would Reptart kill me? If I get killed, then the little girl would be of no use to him. Why would he risk it? This is how the game is played. You have to figure out as to why he would risk it. Both of you have to fight with my beast here. The hourglass decides the fate. Let the show begin. Let me handle this. Amy, please don't do this. Travis, let me handle this.
Life is unfair sometimes. Did you find the answer? You're running out of time. I did. Kevin Spencer, the sellout. Four aces turns into our faces. At last, the little girl was set free. Her life was astonishingly spared by Raptorid. But one thing is still a mystery as to who this hacker is and why did he choose me. As for Mr. Spade, he blended into the mist and nowhere to be found. Amy, the girl's sister, sparked my emotional attention as her name was just the same as my late daughter. Her presence triggered the feeling as if my daughter was incarnated to protect me. It was a blessing for me. But this game is not over yet. Kevin Spencer's story revealed the entire picture to me. That my former agency wanted to set me up to cover their dirty deeds. And I believe that Reptoid is more than just a hacker. And I expect another call from him.